Hi, I'm Joe Leader, and welcome to a behind-the-scenes look at the recording of the first half of my new cinematic album, Healing the Heart, at London's prestigious Rack Studios. After the success of our first live album, Seductive Sax, and subsequent EPs, Nocturne and Merry Saxmas, I had the privilege of touring around the world with one of Italy's most famous pop stars, Eros Ramazzotti. We toured for two and a half years at some of the most beautiful arenas in the world. During this time, I was incredibly inspired by the sheer size and grandeur of his stage performance, music and production. So much so that it inspired me to want to create that cinematic sound on saxophone with choir, band and orchestra. During this short documentary you'll see exactly how we made that happen and I hope you enjoy the process as much as we did. Working with Joe and Jackie has been uh, hugely demanding um, in terms of quality and in terms of attention to detail and in terms of trying to cover every single angle of what we've been providing for the musicians this week. So we began with some very rough songs several months ago um, and we gradually honed and transcribed and edited and refined and reharmonized and orchestrated and so on um, until we had the finished product. We started setting the parts. Uh, so we paid enormous attention to detail and then we began rehearsing them in preparation uh, for, the, for the recording sessions. Creating the music for Healing the Heart was an organic and inspired one. Working with Nicholas O'Neill, orchestrating the songs that Jackie Taylor had written that we had then developed for saxophone, as well as the songs that I'd worked on with Joshua Field and Nicholas O'Neill, was really like uncovering a sculpture. As a famous musician once said, creating art or creating music is like uncovering a sculpture. All you have to do is remove the superfluous bits of clay until the sculpture is revealed. And this is something that we really carried on in our philosophy, just to give it a very relaxed process. And we found in that way, the music just flowed, as did the emotion. Most extraordinary saxophone player. Um, and we're, we're just, I just feel really thrilled that he's including a few of Mosaic in, in, his, in his projects at the moment, which is it's, it's a really different thing for us to do and really great fun and so worthwhile. Well, from what I've heard, it's Oh, good. Excellent. <laughs> <laughs> good. I hope, we can, I hope we can do him proud today as well. It's been a really nice experience. It seems quite relaxed, so we all feel quite comfortable doing it. And they're all really nice people and good musicians, so it's been fun. It's very, very fulfilling to know how much, how, ma how many emotions is behind that and how through your music you can express it all and make people feel better or more, and, you know, rich, richer. <laughs> I would say Joe is, is a great musician. I like really his style. And really feel what he does, that's, that's very nice. And the process of working with Joe has been a kind of revelatory, I would have to say. I'm so privileged to be able to create music and art to touch the hearts of everyone who listens to it. And it is my greatest wish that you all enjoy this album as much as I have enjoyed creating it for you. I'd like to thank all my listeners all the fans from around the world for their support, their good wishes and their friendship. Music after all is a universal art to be shared, to be enjoyed and to be loved. And from my heart, I thank you.